Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net uh, just, just made a video on how to change the upload limits for your WordPress media library uh, by default they're at about 10 meg um, I've just changed mine to 32 meg so you can change them up to 100 meg if you want large videos on there I don't think you're going to have any images that are going to be that big but uh, certainly videos are pretty, pretty heavy so uh, uh, it's, uh, if your video is more than a couple of minutes long, it's probably going to be more than 100, uh, sorry, more than 10 meg, especially if it's high definition. So it, it's very easy to do that. I've just made a video on how to make the changes, but at the same time, you really need to uh, change the post max uh, file size. Um, by default, that's 10 meg. So if you've changed your, you change your upload size to say 20 or 30 meg. This, this setting needs to be above that, so I'll just show you how to do that. Log, in, log into cPanel uh, through your web post and just scroll down to uh, File Manager. Now you'll need a PHP mini file, if you don't have that you'll, you'll need to install one. But, uh, you'll just find it on the first level here in public HTML. If you scroll down you should have the PHP mini, if you haven't you'll have to install it. So here it is here. So I just I just uh, click on that. I right then I right click on it and click on code edit, and we'll just open up that file. Be really careful when you're playing around with PHP. Make sure you've taken backup because if you if, if one little thing's out of place, you're going to get suffer a white screen of death, and it's not a it's not a pleasant uh, sight or, or feeling either. So. Uh, the first time is normally the worst. On the blog post that I've written on the 8th of August, uh, I've also given you, told you what line it's on, so it's really easy to locate this setting. This is the post max, max file size setting. If you scroll down to line 468, you'll find that in that PHP mini file. Here we are here. You can just see it here on line 468. Post max size equals 10. So you can just simply change that to uh, to whatever you like, up to 100 meg. So I'll just change that to 32, and uh, and just save the changes. Okay, so let's change that for you. The, the, the reason you may want to increase this, this limit is because you're adding a lot of videos. And the advantage of adding a lot of videos, uh, if you put the, post them on your own server and, and then embed them into your blog post, is the search engines will pick them up if you, if you also install a, a video sitemap. And you'll get your own URL indexed in the, in the Google search results rather than if, if you upload them to YouTube, that, that's not going to happen. Uh, the, you're going to drive traffic to YouTube, and that's exactly what YouTube want, and that's the reason they provide you free hosting for your videos on YouTube. But you're not going to get a lot of click-through rate from YouTube back to your site. So it's, it's a lot more advantageous to, uh, when you produce your own videos, and I use screener.r, uh, screen, screen, screener.com, which is free, to, to upload them to your server via your WordPress media library and just insert them into your blog posts and that way you, you're building your own brand and driving traffic to your own site rather than building YouTube. So there you have it, give, give that a go and uh, just make sure you complete full backup. Of, I've written quite a few blog posts, nearly 10 blog posts on, on, on how to back up WordPress. There's a, there's a whole range of different methods and techniques you can use. Most of them are free. There are premium solutions as well. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Backup Buddy and I've written a blog post here. You'll find the link here. Uh, there were 4,800 uh, sites hacked and, uh, and, and they were totally lost with no chance of recovery. That's a true story. It was in the papers. So whatever you do, make sure you back up the content, especially if you're writing blog posts every day. And, uh, and if someone ever hacks your site or you ever make a problem, uh, make, make, uh, make a mistake in your PHP coding, you're not going to have any problems. You're, you're going to be able to sleep at night. You can always restore your, your backup to your server and, uh, and you never have to worry. So good luck.